Welcome back to 80scomics.com. Taking a trip to the 90s here with The Punisher Armory, issue number two from 1991, with one of my favorite Jim Lee covers. The Punisher looks pretty badass right there. I always loved these catalog type comics back in the day, like Transformers Universe and G.I. Joe Order of the Battle. There's no plot to be seen here or read or whatever. It's just guns and explosives and knives and basically whatever the Punisher uses to get the job done. 32 explosive pages of bone blasting weaponry narrated by the quintessential killing machine. Who isn't Robocop? It's the Punisher. The Punisher Armory. I'm not sure if I have issue number one though. I didn't see it. It's, uh, I love how they advertise. It has no advertisements. I always like the ads. It's a shame. Instead, we just get guns and crossbows and pistols and some descriptions and what the Punisher uses them for. Blowing up bad guys. Collateral damage. Explosives. I used to love the Punisher comics back in the day. I haven't read them as much lately, but should change that and read all the Punishers again. Even though there's no plot, this is a pretty entertaining read. Ever gotten a gift you really didn't want? I haven't told anyone my birthday in years, except Microchip. The look on his face when he brought me here, well, what could I say to the guy? Of course, I love them. Why, I might even use them sometime. <laughs> These things are official hard-to-get SWAT-issue armored security vehicles called Dragoons. Chippy says he found them at the bottom of a lake or two, just so long as they didn't follow him home. I know he can erase his trails pretty well when they're on paper or in a computer, but these guys, AV Technology out of Michigan, might get angry when they can't find their 14-ton battle wagon in the shallow end. That looks fun. And hey, look, he's got a bunch of machine guns in a trash can. And at about 270 bucks a piece, they are indeed cheaper by the barrel. Let's turn the page here. There we go. What's most exciting about this, this page is not the shotgun. Or the coffee machine. But the biscuits. I would have never pegged the Punisher as a biscuit guy, but there they are. The Punisher armory doesn't lie. What's this thing? It's just like drones before drones. Hey, that looks fun. When I was in the depths of my martial arts training, playing The Revenge of Shinobi, I seemed to be able to throw these shurikens a lot better than I do now. Maybe I'm just getting older, but my first throwing weapon, my big old K-Bar Marine Combat Knife, still still, thro still throws fine. I feel like they had a lot of fun writing this one. Hey, it's the thing from Aliens. Did they hook up with XLR cables? Pay attention to that next time you watch Aliens again. So here you go from 1991, if this looks fun, it is because it's the Punisher Armory, like the comic book version of those G.I. Joe weapon sets. I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about. When you lost all of Snake Eyes Uzis and Rock and Roll's M60, you could buy a weapon set in the same blister pack. You'd get the, uh, the figures in, except it was just nothing but guns and knives, and it was great. And so is this. It's the Punisher Armory, number two. Recommended on 80scomics.com.